So today I wanted to talk to you guys about this little device. This is a ozone generator. And why do I want to bring up an ozone generator on an automotive channel? So the reason why is this ozone generator is used to um, break down odors in your vehicle. So I bought this on Amazon. You could find these. I'll leave the description down below. Um, and they're pretty inexpensive. They're about 60 bucks a piece, $70. Uh, obviously you can buy ones that are much bigger, handle larger areas, a lot more powerful, and they're a lot more expensive. But this one is perfect for a very small room um, uh, or a car. And uh, you can put it on for 180 minutes maximum on this one right here. Um, and basically you leave it on there and it creates ozone and, uh, and basically um, dissolves the, the odors that are inside your car. And how does it do that? I guess it's important to understand ozone, what it is, and we'll start with the oxygen atom. So the reason why I got this ozone generator is because a while back I had a car I went out for Italian food, got a calzone from an Italian uh, pizzeria, and um, and I left the calzone in the car. I had no idea it was in there, but after a few days of not driving the car, I went into the car and, and realized that the uh, calzone was completely um, rotted and uh, had mold all over it, and the odor in the car was horrible. So I had to do something to kind of get rid of the odor. And one of the things that someone came up to me and, and told me about was these ozone generators. They said they were very effective and they, it really was. I mean, I put it in the car, I let it, let the fan, the recirc on the car work. Um, I ran this in the car for about 180 minutes um, and it was perfect. Right after that, you didn't smell any of the odor. Um, it basically neutralized everything that was in the car. There was no odors in the car. It actually smelled almost like a chlorine smell. It's hard to describe ozone in the way it smells. It kind of smells like um, like if electricity had a smell, it, would, it smells kind of like that. So um, anyway, it, it was really effective. It worked very well. It's perfect for cars that have like a smoke odor. If you buy a used vehicle, um, if they were a hoarder or something like that, and a room has like a very bad odor, it really neutralizes all of the odors and it's important to 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 be safe with these these ozone generators because um, they can be very dangerous um, you just need to make sure that there's no people no pets no plants around um, the half-life on an ozone I think is the way I understand it is 50 percent for every hour so for every hour that you leave the ozone in the air it dissolves it basically dissipates after after an hour by 50 percent so, and then every hour after that, 50% more of that, that ozone is depleted. So anyway, so, but the best way to, to, to use it is in an enclosed environment, no people around, no pets around, no plants around, um, and, uh, and then open the doors when you're all done with it uh, to make sure it's all safe. So, and, and let the fresh air kind of take its, do its job. So anyway, so let's get right back to chemistry class and um, talk about ozone. So I guess the first thing you want to ask yourself is what's ozone? And you have to kind of break it down to its simplest form, which is an oxygen atom. So if you look at the periodic table, an oxygen atom has six, eight electrons, six that are on an outer rim. And the air that you breathe, O2, is basically two oxygen atoms that are tied together and that are sharing two electrons. It's a very stable oxygen uh, molecule. Uh, and the only thing that will actually break that apart is electricity or UV light. Those two elements or those two atmospheric environments will actually allow one of those oxygen atoms to break free and because it's unstable by itself it wants to tie itself to another oxygen atom. So what do we have an abundance of? We have oxygen on the planet so it's going to want to attract itself to another O2 molecule. So it's going to attach itself to an O2 molecule and create O3. The problem with O3 is that it's instable. It's not going to want to stay in that, in that um, condition all the time. So it's going to want to break apart. So that third oxygen atom 
uh, is going to want to break apart and tie itself to another organic matter. So smells like vomit, um, smoke, uh, rotting food, uh, dead animals, all that kind of stuff, those odors are organic smells. And what the oxygen atom will do will tie itself to those molecules and actually neutralize it by oxidizing it. So that's what's actually happening to those odors. You're actually changing the chemical composition of those odors and eliminating the smell altogether. So, and again, the way I used it was for my car um, when I had food in there and I didn't realize there was food in there and it created this odor and I couldn't get rid of the odor because it was all embedded into the fibers of the headliner and all that kind of stuff. Um, so the ozone generator worked really well. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, but again, please be safe, you know, make sure that you use the ozone generator um, in a safe manner. Make sure that there's no people, plants, or pets around when you're using the generator. Um, and just allow the uh, ozone to dissipate and basically uh, remove it with some fresh air. Um, and just naturally the ozone will actually deplete itself. Its half-life is 50% every hour, so, you know, Depending on how much ozone you have in your vehicle, it'll dissipate pretty quickly. But be safe. You know, I'll put a link down below. There's another YouTuber that has a really good uh, safety video when it comes to ozone generators and, and ozone. I'll share that with you guys because I thought that was very, a very good video. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Please like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can get notified every time a new video comes out. Talk to you later. Peace.